Good evening, Jamestown. This is Ronya LaCroix with your last JCTV 16 news update. The New York Times reports after reviewing computer files and documents seized at the compound where Osama bin Laden was killed, American intelligence analysis have con concluded that the chief of Al-Qaeda played a direct role for years in plotting terror attacks from his hideout in Abbottabad, Pakistan. United States officials said Thursday, with bin Laden's whereabouts and, ac and activities a mystery is in recent years, many intelligence analysis and terror experts had concluded that he had been regulated to an inspirational figure with little role in current and future al-Qaeda operations. A rush examination of the trove of materials from the compound in Pakistan prompted Obama's administration officials on Thursday to issue a warning that al-Qaeda last year had considered attacks on Amer American railroads. The Associated Press reports that North Dakota wildlife officials say northern pike populations are booming. The Game and Fish Department says the healthy population en enabled fishery crews to complete spring spawning efforts quickly despite poor weather conditions. Spokesman Scott Gangle says crews in, in just six days collected more than 19 million eggs from Lake Oahe and two lakes in Sussman County. Gangle says there is an abundance of eat, eating sized pike and most fish are still a few years away from being trophy size. He says in about five years, anglers will see a, a lot of 20 pound northerners. The next to last space shuttle flight has been delayed again, this time to at least the middle of May for extra electrical tests. Mission managers decided Friday that shuttle Endeavour would blast off no earlier than May 16th. The space station delivered mission led by Rep, Rep. Gabriel Giffords, astronaut husband, had only had been on hold for a week. A heater malfunction halted the countdown April 29th, and the trouble was traced to a switch box in Endeavour's engine compartment. The box was removed, and this week engineers discovered a blown circuit inside. NASA spokeswoman Kandria Thomas said testing will be conducted throughout the weekend to find out if the electricity problem was in the old box or somewhere in the external wiring that's still in the shuttle. A new unit was installed Wednesday. For your weekend weather, expect sun and warm weather tomorrow for graduation. Highs around 68 degrees. For Sunday, expect some showers and highs only around 60. The start of the week will also bring some showers with highs around 57. Tuesday and Wednesday, the temperature will climb back up into the 60s, but still expect a little bit of showers. Track and field is in Sioux Falls this weekend, participating in the Howard Woods Relay. But baseball is in Dickinson battling for the DAC championship. The guys won their first game 12-2 against Dakota State, then faced Dickinson and won 13-3, but on Thursday night lost to Mayville State University in a game 3-2. The guys must win three games to move on to the national tournament. If they don't, they'll have to call it a season. Softball is also playing this weekend in Minot. And check JimmyAthletics.com for more information on all these sporting events. That's it for tonight, Jamestown.